I'm Dr. Blanche Kruby. I'd like to talk to you today about skin. Why is a dentist talking about skin? Because skin is one of the best and is the largest detoxification organ in the body. So if you take care of your skin the right way, it will do you a tremendous service as far as detoxification. Did you know that fluid flows from the inside of the body to the outside of the body 24 seven. So while I'm sitting here talking to you, I'm not sweating. I'm actually very comfortable. I even have a jacket on today, but fluid is flowing outside of my skin. And if I was to sit here for three or four days and not have anything to drink, I would very quickly become dehydrated. So that's just one of the natural functions of the body. Fluid flows from the inside to the outside. It actually takes with it as it's flowing, it actually takes bad things, things that are, that are chemicals, things that are, are poisonous to our bodies, things that we in general call toxins. Also takes bacteria from the inside of the body to the outside. So it's important for us to take care of our skin. We tell patients when they've had the dent, complete dental revision and they're going to now detoxify, we tell them one of the best things that they can do is to do something called dry skin brushing. Um, I wish I had one of those right here with me right now, I would show you. Dry skin brush can be purchased in the drugstore. They're very inexpensive. They usually cost anywhere from three to $5. And it's usually a very soft brush on a long stick handle. You would like to take that dry skin brush and gently brush your skin in this direction up towards your heart. If you're doing your arms, you would start at the tips, brush all the way up to the heart. If you're doing your feet, you would start all the way down in what we call the tootsies. Start at your toes and brush all the way up to the heart. Brush your back, brush your back down, brush your torso down. When you're all done, if you have never done this before, when you're all done, the first time you do this, you will actually see a, a, a flaking, a dusting of dead skin cells on the floor. So good idea to do this in the bathroom if you have a tile floor, or good idea to do this in the shower before you've turned on the water. So you want to get all of the dead skin off your body. Then it's a good idea to get into a tub that has two pounds. Those are those little um, yellow boxes, two pounds of baking soda. They're usually about 39 cents a box. They're usually about this big. You want to put two pounds of baking soda in a warm tub. You want to put a whole pound, which is usually a whole box of salt. Many people have asked me, well, what kind of salt? Is it important to use um, you know, sea salt? Is it important to use regular table salt? I really don't think it's that important what kind of salt you use. Um, of course, I wouldn't recommend Himalayan salt because it's about $34 for a few ounces. Uh, I certainly wouldn't recommend that. But two pounds of baking soda and a pound of salt. And you want to get into this warm tub after you've done the dry skin brushing. Soak in this tub for about 15 minutes. Um, if you're not claustrophobic, take a clean towel, dip it into the, to the soapy uh, water solution, and actually put it over your head. Uh, we like to call that a, a poor man's sauna. Um, I don't think it's a poor man's sauna. I think it could be anybody's sauna. And, and actually sit in there for about 15 minutes. This will draw toxins out of your skin and into the water. Get up after 15 minutes and take a soapy shower. Now you will be washing off all the toxins that have come out of your body. This is a wonderful way of detoxing, and this is something that should be done at least once a week. If you get into the tub and you're soaking, and all of a sudden you start feeling woozy, a little lightheaded, by all means, get out of the tub. Take your quick shower and get out. You're not ready to handle a full 15 minutes in a detox bath. While I'm talking about skin, let's talk about lotions that people put on their skin. When you buy yourself a body lotion to place on your skin, you should read the ingredients. My rule of thumb is if I can't read it, if I can't understand it, if I can't spell it, it's probably not something that you should put on your body. As a matter of fact, another very good rule of thumb is anything that you put on your skin, you should be able to also eat. It should be that wholesome and that good for you. 
Lotions that have all kinds of chemicals, many of them have petrol chemicals, are not very good for you. What they do is they clog up the pores of your skin and keep your body from being able to use your skin as a good detoxifier. Not a good idea. Again, if you're going to use some kind of a lotion, it has to be something that is actually good for you, that you could actually eat the ingredients. If you can eat all of the ingredients, then by all means, you think you need a body lotion, go ahead and put it on. Again, while I'm talking about things that are absorbed through the skin, be cautious of dry cleaning fluid solutions. When we dry clean our clothing and then we wear them, we are absorbing the dry cleaning solutions into our skin. Um, my husband is a chiropractor who can muscle test people and determine what kind of toxins are disturbing their body. And I'm always amazed when he picks up dry cleaning solutions from somebody's body and uh, finds out that the last time they wore something from the dry cleaner was maybe five years ago, and it's still upsetting their body. Another thing to consider is these um, softening agents that people put in the dryer. After you've washed your clothes and you put them in the dryer to dry them, if you put a softening agent in the dryer and then you wear those clothing, or you put a softening agent in sheets and then you sleep between those sheets, you are absorbing those chemicals from the cleaning agents. Not a good idea. So try to keep things as pure and as simple and as clean as you possibly can when taking care of your skin. Of course, it goes without saying, everybody needs sunlight. But if you're going to bake in the sun for 8 to 10 hours so that you get that perfect tan, you've actually damaged your skin. And now the skin's purpose, uh, one of the skin's purposes acting as a detoxifying agent is going to be hindered because the skin is now burned. Not a good idea to spend that many hours bathing in the sun just to get the perfect tan. So that's my lecture today on skin as a major detoxifier on the body. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Dr. Blanche Gruby. See you next time.